you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden open video, guys. And first off, guys, thank you for all the happy birthdays and stuff I got yesterday. I know I got like 200 comments and like 200 Twitter DMs, so if I haven't answered them, I'm sorry. I was busy, you know, with the party and everything, so I really, I didn't really get to much of it. I'll probably, after I make my videos today, go lay in the bed and go just go through every comment at some point today. Sorry if I, haven't, if I, didn't, if I didn't answer it all yesterday. A little tired right now. But let's get back on the grind. We got a few things today. We got some new content at 1030, so I'll definitely have that, guy, that out for you guys when it comes out. I'm going to have maybe a gameplay of the new content. I'm going to have this video, obviously, and see where the day goes from there. But so far, thank you guys for all the support. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smack the sub button. We're this close to 6,000 subscribers. We're like 300 away. Let's hit that by today. I know you guys can do it. Smash the Noti Bell. You guys are, we're over 1,100 Noti Bell guys. So that's, that's really awesome in my opinion, considering we were at like 100 a few weeks ago. Also guys, let's get this video to 250 likes. You guys killed the like button yesterday. Hit 300 on multiple videos. So that was awesome. Comment down below if you disagree with this list. Now, before I get into this list, guys, I understand something. Some of them are going to be obvious, but a lot of people are commenting that they wanted me to go for the best players in the game and give me give commentary on why I believe they're the best player in the game. Now, yes, a lot of them might be the highest overall, but that's because they are the best card. Now, some won't be because so obviously not every highest overall card is going to be the best card in the game. I also won't be including limited times in this because I do believe that limited times are kind of, they're like an outlier because you can't just have a limited time running or rocking on your team. It's kind of rare because... They're so overpriced. So there's gonna be mostly some of the best players I'm gonna get, but I'm also gonna do some commentary on why they're the best and reasoning behind or how long they could be the best and you know, so on and so forth. This might be a slightly longer video depending on how this starts to go early on. So we'll see how this goes. Let's get the list out. I got the list right here. Like I always do, I do everything from the auction blocks. It's kind of the easiest way to do everything. So we're gonna go for our position by position. I mean, it's gonna look a little obvious, but don't hate me for that. It was It's a good idea. Someone axed it. And you see, the first week it might not be the best idea, but as the season, season goes on, when everyone has really high overalls, it's going to be a really good idea. When there's like 595 overall quarterbacks and I give you guys the best one that I've played with, or I think it's the best one, that's actually not a bad idea for the person that I've given me. So starting off at quarterback, because that's how we're going to do this, position by position, it's going to it's gonna be pretty obvious. I didn't even click quarterback. And now it's not just because who he is and what his name is, you know, but it's also because of what he comes with. I don't know. You guys know it's Pat Mahomes. So Pat Mahomes right now is very expensive though. The superstars have went up in price. I told you guys they would go up in price because they have the abilities and the abilities alone are like worth 150k worth of training. But besides the point, Pat Mahomes is the best quarterback in the game. Does he play like it? Yes, I have him. Do I pass slot? No, because I have the, um, the glitchiest card in the game at running back. But Pat Mahomes, his abilities alone kind of outweigh any stats he could have anyways, because right now abilities are huge in this game. Now, again, I can't spend too much time in positions. How long do I think he'll be the best quarterback for? Not that long. I think it won't be too long before we get a Michael Vick and some other quarterbacks, and he'll be out. He'll be out. But we might get a Mutt Heroes Aaron Rodgers. We typically get some kind of Mutt Heroes quarterback. Michael Vick can usually come at any time. Randall Cunningham. I haven't. I really want to try mobility this year, so we're going to see how that goes. On to the running back. See, this is where it's not as obvious because Todd Gurley is not the best running back in the game. It is Sir Marcus Allen. Best running back that I've ever touched in Madden Ultimate Team history. Guys, if you get this card with Evasive and Freight Train, it's over. It's a wrap. Call it. I placed top 100 in Weekend League for a reason. This guy is the GOAT. He is the best card. He's the best card hands down in this game. Not even the best running back. Now, a budget option real quick. I like, I'm going to throw in some um, you know, honorable mentions here and there. Philip Lindsay, awesome running back. Comes in from Mark Sound all the time. Gladly use him. Now, at fullback, I don't know exactly what overall is i believe he's an 87 but he is the best fullback in the game i love this card right here i need this card to replace my anthony sherman look at his lead block and impact block for marcus allen or any running game he's awesome to have not going to spend too much time at fullback obviously next is for me the best wide receiver in the game i'm, I'm going to compare him to the second best wide receiver in the game so you guys can see both at once so coming across what i thought were the best wide receiver in the game i've done my research and it, it, i think hands down tory holt is the best wide receiver in this game right now i played with all of them d hop is good tyreek hill's okay you know jerry rice is good but tory holt is just a possession animal i, I love tory holt and if he if he rat catches it he's off to the house he's like he's a better he's a route running him and tory holt tory holt and odell beckham jr right here are one and two they're pretty much tyreek hill 
in the skin of an awesome wide receiver. Tyreek Hill can only run straight straight ahead. These guys can spin, juke, can catch, can make plays. Tor Hill and Odell are the two best wide receivers in the game, in my personal opinion. Now, for tight end, I'm not going to actually go to one. I'm going to compare it to the one I have because you have to actually train one up. It's not Zach Ertz. It is this George Kittle right here. I don't care what his overall is. I don't care what his stats say. He can run block, which is huge right now. He can catch, and he's the fastest tight end in the game besides Kellen Winslow, but Kellen Winslow's limited time, and I will not be including them because not everyone can afford those. So George Kittle, in my opinion, just power up, power him up, use your power, pass, do whatever you got to do to get him. Everyone on Weekend League was rocking him because everyone knows he's a god. Now, left tackle. The line, I mean, typically the best linemen are going to be the best line, so I'm going to go really quick over this. I don't really think I'm going to spend each time on each one. I'm just going to go over real quick, over real quick. Joe Staley, 87 heavyweight at left guard. I'm probably going to go with Bruce Matthews. Bruce Matthews, full edge. You can also power him up. Don't forget that's a good way to get him. At center, I'm going to go Jason Kelsey on the Eagles. Awesome run blocker right now, and I could care less for pass blocking from the center position, depending on what the person's running. Um, at right right guard, Larry Allen, hands down. He locks the guy up. He's the reason that Marcus Allen's so successful. And then Lane Johnson at right tackle. He's athletic. He can run block and pass block. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, let's go over to, I believe, right end is what we're going to work with right now. The left end. Let's we'll start with left end here. So it's not, it's not Reggie White. Although I love my Reggie White, I'm starting to think it's Tank, it's Tank Lawrence. Oh my god, I almost, oh my god, I almost just bought him out. Tank Lawrence, Reggie White is better stat-wise. He's better, significantly better in some ways. But his ability is unstoppable force is an insane X factor. A breach elite's unreal. Finesse specialist and edge threat. So if you're gonna be blitzing a lot and running up man, Demarcus Lawrence kind of the car that you want coming off the edge. See, Re Re Reggie White would be better, but the issue with Reggie White is he costs like 280k, and then you have to put another 150k worth of training just to get him up to these abilities. So in reality, even though this card almost costs 300k, you're not spending like 450 to 500 just to train him, power him up, and do everything. So it's almost half a million coins to do all that. When Tank Lawrence, when he was like 240, now he's a little higher. But he's probably coming back. He'll come down back down in a bit. But when he comes down to 240, that's a way better deal in my opinion. Now defensive tackle. See, defensive tackle, I haven't got the tribe. I'm assuming John Randall's the best. I do like Fletcher Cox, and I do like Michael Pierce. But John Randall's limited time, so I don't really want to include him. Now, if he has a power card, I'd recommend powering him up. I'm not entirely sure on that one. Defensive tackle is not all that useful right now anyways, considering you should put ends there. Now, heading on over to a right end. Come on, guys, you know. You know who it is. It's big Aaron Donald. I don't want to say what I want to say. I don't want to get demonetized, but Aaron Donald's the same. Have him powered up. You put a stopple force in him. You put Reach Elite, and if you can get Edge you put that on him. Beast of a card. Don't just talk too much about him. Let's get on over to the outside linebackers. So I left outside linebacker. It's going to be not Khalil Mack. It's going to be Von Miller. Khalil Mack is a beast. Don't get me wrong. Let's see if there's an auctionable version of Von Miller up there so you guys can see. This card is the best card in the game. Probably the best defensive card overall in the game with right there with Lawrence Taylor. He blows him away in every facet. He's faster. He's better acceleration, better tackling, better play rec, better block shed, better power move, better finesse move. Not to mention, you power this guy up and put some abilities on him. It's, it's game over. And now you line him up on the opposite side of... I'll go to right outside linebacker real quick. So you line him up on the opposite side of Lawrence Taylor and it's over. Lawrence Taylor is the best outside linebacker in the game. Now, if you don't want to spend all this money, just power up Lawrence Taylor like I did. And you get this beast of a card right here, 88 overall. One of the best outside linebackers in the game for a lot, lot cheaper in my opinion. Guys, those are the, the linebackers are huge this year. The front seven's huge. Now, the middle linebackers, I do like this Luke Keekly, but he's overpriced right now. So I'm gonna have to go down for that because I don't think he's kind of worth his price. So in my opinion, oh, Bobby Wagner is expensive. Why do you go up so much? Well, prices are up right now. Wait, wait till weekend league rewards drop. That should change the market up a little bit. But Ryan Shazier and Bobby Wagner are the best one and two right now. I got both of them. Shazier is the best middle linebacker, hands down. But if you didn't pick him, you obviously can't get him now. Until um, so they maybe do an exchange step. So for now, him and then I'd go Bobby Wagner right after that. Both really good cards. Wagner on the slower side. That's why I like both. Shazier is my user. That's fast. Wagner's more of like the, the fundamental run stuffing, you know, in the zone kind of guy. Now, going over to cornerbacks. I did only mark down, I believe. Mm, I believe I, I marked down two because it's. The, the best one in the game, right? Best player at the position is hands down Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore is fast, good acceleration, good agility, lockdown man, good zone, lockdown press, lockdown play record, jumping, six foot one. And he comes with shutdown, tip drill, man up, and pick artist. 
it's it's a no-brainer he's the best cornerback in the game i have him on my team nat so happy i got him out of that pack now if i had to pick another guy mel blunt's right there obviously and jalen ramsey those are my top three Mel Blunt or Jalen Ramsey, in my opinion, I take Jalen Ramsey just because I'd rather have him over the course of the season rather than Mel Blunt. But a close third would be Mel Blunt, and then Byron Jones is really good too. Now coming out to free safety, I really don't want to rank this one. For all the free safeties are they kind of suck right now. If you had to pick one, I'd personally take Jamal Adams, the strong safety, and put him at free safety. But if you can't do that, for overall purposes, I did Earl Thomas because I wanted my overall to go up a little bit. I wanted to see it go up. But if I had to, I'd probably I'd probably put Jamal Adams there. Now coming in at strong safety, simple, 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 simple. It's one of the glitchiest cards in the game. Mr. Ken Houston, once he shows him and Jamal Adams, best two strong safeties in the game. If I if I had to pick either one, I, I use both actually. I put him at I put him at back of strong and I put uh, Jamal Adams in the box. Jamal Adams can run, he's fast, he can hit stick and he can play zone. Ken Houston's faster, he can hit stick harder, and he can play zone even better. He's like a, a juiced up Jamal Adams, and if you could put some chems in this guy, which I have not done yet, I personally recommend putting my chems on the outside linebackers at the ends, because just how overpowered it is this year, guys. But that is about it for every position. If you want a good kicker, Graham Gano. I love Graham Gano. Can nail almost every field goal. Very, very cheap. Pulled him out of a pack. Whew, that was a mouthful. But guys, that is all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this got, I hope this helped. And obviously, the first time I post this kind of video, it might not be the best video just because it's kind of obvious but as the season rolls around and there's like 10 90 overall quarterbacks and 10 90 running backs this video will be a lot more useful i think this could be a good little weekly episode that i could do every week or two just to go over what are the best players right now which i think helps because when i was playing this by last year and i wasn't a youtuber and i want to know i always want to know what quarterback should i be using what running back should i be using so i think that's a really cool thing to do for you guys so hopefully you guys like if you do drop a like for me down below let's get 250 likes in this video make sure to sub down below we can get to the 6k sub by tomorrow. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. But that is it. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.